And this, I just made, and it's a piece of junk. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys what an actual um, properly sized bow might look like for someone my size. This bow is not six feet, it's six foot eight. So it's, I'm about five eight, um, and so this is about a foot taller than me. And a bow, back in the day, would have been about this proportion. So if you're using a six foot bow, and it's about a foot taller than you, or thereabouts, then you're getting pretty close to the proportionality of, a, of what bow jitsu would ask you to understand. The problem that we're having nowadays is that because they've standardized the bows, you're understanding it from a very particular perspective. And that standardization is working against you. So you're better off going out and trying to get something, I would say a foot taller than you. If you're, if you're, if you're six feet, get a seven foot bow. If you're five five, you know, six and a half. Um, and the reason for that has to do with how we understand how to position ourselves and leverage against, you know, within, you know, using the bow and all these other things. Um, the same is true actually for Hondo, you know, a half staff, and also a joke. Thank you. Yeah. And also a joke, right? You need to you need to get tools that are proportional to your size. And that goes that's true of tools, it's true of weapons in general. Um, and uh, it's important because otherwise you miss out on what, what this is really trying to tell you. And that's important. It cannot be overstated.